What's up everybody, it's Mark from 403 Fauna. Welcome to another Wire Wednesday. Wire is short for what's in your rack. Every Wednesday I share with you what's been going on in my rack for the past week. But before we get started, it's my birthday. And what better way to celebrate than with a brand new snake. So let me make a wish. Before I show you what I got, Let's have a little contest. Comment below how old you think I am. I won't be offended. Feel free to say whatever age. The closest one to get it will receive a pair of 403 Fauna stickers. So guess below how old you think I am and kick back and check out what I got for myself. So here goes the new guy. This ball python is a butter desert ghost, 100% het genetic stripe, 50% possible het ghost. So he's gonna fit really well with my projects. And when I saw him, I just knew I had to get him. So big thanks to Mike Osman of Osman Reptiles. He's a fellow science teacher, so I know he would, he would do me right here. Now just look at how exceptionally clean this snake is. So butter is a pretty clean animal in itself, but top it off with desert ghost and man, whew, super clean. That het genetic stripe, if you don't know the ge butter genetic stripes and lesser genetic stripes are some of the cleanest genetic stripes out there and to make butter lesser, or I'm sorry, butter desert ghost genetic stripes with this guy, you're gonna have just a really clean, perfectly striped animal. And possible head hypo, look at that head. Really clean head we got going on here. So I'm really excited to have this guy. Let's get a weight on him real fast. And my ring light is not cooperating, so let me actually turn that off real quick, then we'll get a weight. Okay, get back in there, buddy. So 105. Perfect time to get a, a ball python. They've got a few meals in them. They're over 100 grams. And from the feed card I saw, his last meal was a, a frozen thawed rat pup. So glad to have that. If you guys don't know, I'm transitioning my ball pythons to frozen thawed and just reducing my live rat colonies because I just don't want to breed, breed rats. It's not a fun thing to do. And I do want to still continue bringing them, but not at the scale of where I'll have to feed my entire collection on them. So I'm actually moving to Frozen Thawed. And it's been a pretty smooth transition, so... Yeah, man, I am excited to have Desert Ghosts. My next video, or actually when Adonis, ha Adonis sheds out, because he's in blue right now, I'm going to do a Desert Ghosts video on all that I have in my collection and my plans. So yeah, really exciting. Man, look at how clean those sides are. There are no alien heads, no dirt. And with Desert Ghost, it's just gonna get brighter with age. Once again, Butter, Desert Ghost, 100% head genetic stripe, 50% possible head hypo. How cool is that? A day after unboxing, he's already taken frozen thawed rats right off the tongue. 
I know there's this rule of thumb to wait a week before you try to feed them, but I like to feed them the day of or the day after, depending on whether they come in packaged properly and safe. Thank you once again for joining me this week for my birthday celebration. Don't forget to comment below to guess my age or a pair of stickers. And have a great week. I'll see you guys on the vlog on Sunday. Take care.